I just got home from work and well, I'm excited because that means I get to slay something again. What I'm gonna check out today is actually Anime Warriors Sin Leader. Guys, we gotta get this game to 20,000 concurrent players because yes, we do. Um, I might win free Roblox if we do. But anyways, Anime Warriors Sin Leader, I talked to the owner and I asked him to see if he can update it on Fridays as opposed to Saturdays when Anime Fighter Sin Leader updates. So hopefully that'll be changing soon. But I'm gonna show you guys how to get really strong and how I like learned to farm and get better in the game so you guys can catch up to where I'm at right now. I'm also probably gonna be doing a giveaway very soon in this game, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys like the video, you subscribe, you turn notifications, you join the Discord, and uh, yeah, watch the entire video. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the intro now. So, Anime Warriors Simulator, guys. There's a new code at 40,000 likes. They're at 20,000 likes right now, so make sure you guys go like the game. Also, like I said, get the game to like 20,000 concurrent players. Please and thank you. Um, yeah, so, first thing I want to give you guys is the new codes. This is the first one, Super 20. Redeem the code Super 20, and you guys got two times luck, one ultra lucky, and two times triple damage. And then um, the same thing, but Super 10. Oh, I guess Super Tan ran out. So, Super 20 is the only code we got. Guys, I want to use this Ultra Lucky because it's going to be very OP. But, I wouldn't use the Ultra Lucky until you've gotten to the stage that I am at right now, okay? So, I want to show you how I played the game. So, unequip all. Obviously, I paid to win very early on in the game, which made things very easy for me. But, the way I would play it is, first, I would verify my Twitter. So, at ToadBoyGaming1, verify, this Twitter is harder than these. You guys suck! Stop using my name, okay? Stop it. I want to verify my own Twitter account, okay? Or else I don't get any boosts and it's all because of you guys. <laughs> I'm actually crying right now because I actually wanted to redeem that. Anyways, what I would do over here at the Slayer Egg, I've gotten everything. What I would do is use my auto open by joining their groups, and then once I get these units, I would actually not auto delete them. Why is that, Toad? Because units actually has like a fuse method. So you guys see that level 80 is the highest level you can fuse your units into right now. So for example, the feed, and then all you do is you click on these units and you guys can tell they're giving you experience so you can level up the unit. Now, the one thing I did learn about this is that it doesn't matter what unit you're fusing because either way you're going to get about the same amount of experience that you were going to get when you, like, either if you use a common, if you use an ethic, it doesn't matter. Watch, I'm going to open this, I'm going to buy three. We got, look, three commons and I'm going to feed all three commons into this unit here. So, uh, feed. Oh wait, I, I think I auto-deleted them by accident. Hold on. Auto delete. Yeah, okay, confirm. Let's open one more time actually because I just accidentally fused them. Alright, we got two commons and an uncommon. And then you guys take your best unit. So him. And then we're gonna feed these three units. Watch. Oh wait, unequip. Let's feed into him. And watch one. Oh my gosh, this is already level 80. I lied. Ah, I'm having trouble. Hold on, guys. I can't find. Stop it. Exit. Level 60. There we go. Feed into him. One, two, three. You guys see, I'm getting the exact same amount of experience for every unit that I feed. So make sure you guys feed your units and max them out. I would focus on one unit at a time like this and make sure they're totally super strong. Once you get into the second world, you kind of start unlocking different things. For example, the fighter index, which if you're not already like late game, you won't be able to finish this fighter index. It's just how it is, you know? You have to get to later on in the game in order to finish this fighter index. But when you do, you get yourself a plus one fighters equipped. So make sure you complete this index right now before they change it and make it any harder. Um, all you gotta really do is claim your like really common pets. Look at that. And it even tells you how many exist, actually. Only 69 King Naruto's exist. 2,000, 20,000 of those, 30,000 of those, 10,000 of those, 55,000, 9,000 mythicals exist. And then every other world also has mythicals as well. I'm probably going to go back and try to hatch these mythicals a little bit later. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave them alone. This upgrader. I didn't even know this existed. 
I didn't even know this existed because I kind of just zoomed through all the world. So make sure you max upgrade everything, guys, when you get enough gems. How do you get gems? By attacking the boss like this, and boom, they give you coins and gems. These are the mini bosses. These are like the regular nudes. And if you guys jump over here, or if you go all the way around like a noob, um, yeah, you guys can get to the big boss, Beerus, right there. And he'll give you guys a good amount of yen and uh, gems. You guys want to make sure that you're finishing your achievements as well. So I finished the kill 250 bosses, kill 500 hard enemies, 25 fighters, yen. I have a couple more. Successfully craft 5 golden fighters, kill 50 medium enemies. Like, you know, that's going to take a little bit of time. Open 5,000 capsules. I'm almost there. Kill 5,000 enemies. Um, nowhere near that. But I am at level uh, 6 already. And then kill 100 nomad enemies. So make sure you do that to get yourself more gems. The third world you guys are going to unlock is the Grand Sea, and over here at the Grand Sea, you kind of just have a Grand Sea and some monsters to fight. Nothing special, alright? Now, the Great Village is actually pretty great because it has something really cool called Enchant. So this enchantment thing, what you do, you select a unit that you have. So let's just go ahead and like hatch one unit because I don't have another one. Let's hatch one of these units by one. Very cool, I love the little opening animation in this game, you guys got it then it's pretty cool. Alright, Naruto and Sasuke units. Go to the enchant, and click on the Sasuke, select him, and then what you do is you click enchant right here, for 5,000 er, gems, you can roll an enchantment, and for example, look, I got speed 1 with a chance of 24%, so these are the current enchantments you can get. Speed 1 will increase your speed times 20%, so that just means how fast like they'll run, and how fast they'll like attack. See, look at that. Boom. The other ones are damage and yen. Of course, your ultimate goal is to get a full team with damage three. But what you'll notice in just a moment is when you fill out all your enchantments. One, two, three. And then one more for Sasuke. Four. Now he's fully enchanted. I, I will not be able to enchant him anymore. You guys see that the fighter is at max enchant. So you guys gotta be really careful and hope that you're really lucky with your enchantments. I did get a decent enchantment on this guy. We got damage one and yen two and one. So like that's a lot of yen from him. This one has also some damage one and two, damage one and two. I haven't gotten damage three yet on any of my characters. So I need to keep opening more of the new egg in the last world to try to get more of these enchantments. Now finally, the last thing you want to do is go over here to the Czar Town and use this fuse method. I also didn't realize how like easy to use this fuse method, but watch this. So I'm going to open three capsules really fast, and we got a ton of commons. At the fuse machine, you're going to click your whatever unit you're trying to fuse. So click your strongest unit. Let's choose, let's just choose him right here for now. Joseph, the destroyer, right? And then I click any two random units to fuse, and they're gonna cost 40,000 gems, but look at his damage. His damage becomes ast ast astronomically stronger than it was before. 41,000, click them again, 51,000. As you guys saw, it gets a lot more expensive, so make sure you guys have enough gems in order to do this, or else you won't be able to get that strong. Now Joseph is fully enchanted, fully equipped, and now the last thing that's pending for Joseph is actually in the first world. So if we go back to the demon forest, there is actually a craft gold option. So I'm going to click this Joseph. I'm going to use these three just because I can. Craft for gems. It's probably going to fail. But, yeah, if it becomes successful in the case with my Jojo here, he becomes slightly more yellow golden colored than this Jojo. And his damage is a lot stronger than this Jojo. So... My ultimate goal will be to get a full team of the mythical JoJo's and make them golden, crafted with the best passives I possibly can. So far I have 863,000 power, which was good yesterday, but it's only 59th on the leaderboard. I haven't hatched a secret. I'm hoping that next update I'll be able to hatch a secret, but uh, yeah, Roblox man, I am definitely on that leaderboard. I am 17th. Top kills, I have 2,700 kills. Uh, that puts me at 44th. Capsules open, I only have 5,000 capsules open because it kind of sucks having to fuse everything. And in total playtime, I am almost on the leaderboards. I'm off by like three hours, so we'll see. But that's how I got strong. That's how I'm able to get 
super good and stay on the leaderboards in anime warrior simulator which as you guys know is basically like afs but you guys are saying it's exactly afs it really isn't it kind of has a like a anime fighter slash pet simulator feel to it so it's not like a million percent copying anime fighters but i get it it's very similar but yeah, look at these abilities. Ready, ready? The abilities, I think, in Anime Fighters are a little bit cooler, but this one's not bad at all. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm able to destroy this boss relatively easy, and I'm basically ready for the next update. So uh, yeah, I hope this helped you guys. That's it for today. I'll see you later. Reason thesis. Bye.